Next up is Darrell McPherson. Um, I don't think I've ever m met Darrell, and so I'm really excited um, to see what she has for a presentation, and I'm really excited to see um, what what what's new in vStitcher. <laughs> Hi, Joshua. Can you guys Hi. hear me okay? We can hear you. Yeah, Darrell. So great to meet you. meet you. Can you guess when was the first time I, I saw vStitcher? Can I guess? Mm, yeah. 2008. Try try two thousand. Two thousand, okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm a little a little bit late. That's okay. Yeah, so a while back. So uh, yeah. it's and believe me, it has come a very long ways yes. uh, since those those early days. So yeah. I will let you take it from here. Um, uh, okay, off you go. Thanks. No problem. So yeah. Is it, yeah, okay. So one thing that you'll notice, uh, Joshua, and to everybody at the 3D Tech Fest, is that we have a lot more space uh, now. We've changed some of our interface so that you can actually have more access to the tools that you need. So we've grouped the tools within uh, materials, within the 3D um, bar. So all of that you'll see at the side. So I'm going to open up just one of my designs here and show you some of the incredible things. Uh, one thing that you'll notice is that you have a lot more realism in the 3D window. I chose this design so that you can see the different textures and you can see the different uh, lighting effects that it has um, in the textures. Right now we're using, we've upgraded to V-Ray 5 and Unreal Engine. So what that actually is doing is giving you more realism in your 3D window. So you don't always have to check back and forth to what your V-Ray is looking like. If you're in that parameter in that section, uh, you can definitely see a realistic view of your 3D materials. So that I thought was very important for you to see. Another thing that we have going on for our new version, this is by, by if I didn't say it in the beginning, this is the 2023.2 version, which we've totally integrated the SBSAR files. And with the SBSAR files, now that Adobe has switched to having things editable, we've included that editable uh, functionality in the uh, material space. So as you see, I'm going through here, I'm just changing colors. I'm uh, experiencing uh, all of the things that I would in Adobe Adobe Substance or in Adobe Designer. And I'm actually um, going ahead and changing the colors and changing parameters. And this works on everything from uh, graphics that you would pull in in your SBSAR file. If you've built your own personal uh, SBSAR files from Vizu or from Adobe Substance, if you're doing digital twins in that workflow, this is something that you'll have access to, to actually go ahead and make the updates and changes that you need, iterations in the actual 3D workspace. So I thought this was excellent to see, even down to the finest details of the thread colors. Um, you know, Adobe allows you to edit so much. So now you can do all of that within vStitcher. So I thought this was really keen to show you. So now not only do you get to see it in real in real visual uh, reality, you know, but you can also see that uh, you have the access to make iterations on the fly, saving you time. You don't have to go in between different programs. You can actually stay and work and focus on your 3D garment. Uh, it works with everything. I put in a print here so you guys can see that if the... Um, if the item is editable down to the actual print color, you can edit that. So the files actually have to come in with these parameters exposed. If you guys are familiar with exposed parameters, then that is what you'll see in the material section. And you'll be able to change uh, even beading colors. This is actually a beaded, uh, beaded mesh. So if you look closely, you can see that I'm changing the beaded color to blue and I'm, you know, coordinating everything within vStitcher. And it looks actual actually realistic. So not only is just being able to um, recolor things inside the vStitcher program, you can also, um, with the actually, uh, with the Unreal Engine 5, you can also uh, light your scene, which we're gonna see that in just one second. We're gonna see how we've actually added to the new version, the lighting parameters. And with the lighting parameters, not only are you getting the realism in the Unreal Engine, but you're also able to light it and also able to work and uh, see all of that functionality in real time. So I like to call this real-time, real-time rendering because you can actually see everything 
um, as it's happening. And we'll see later on in the uh, in the section that the Unreal Engine allows you to also uh, uh, render faster. So you know, with uh, Unreal Engine five that we're using in the software right now, the render time and the render speed is incredibly fast, even surprising my own self. So as I'm recoloring this, we're going to get into the lights. And uh, right now, you're used to having the HDR lighting system that we have, uh, not editable. But we've opened that up and you're actually able to uh, make more changes in the HDRI system. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, play with the lights right now. It has its own section in the, 3D, uh, in the 3D space. And you can see in the 3D space that it's um, a lighting panel will appear on, your, uh, on the right-hand side of the screen. And within the lighting panel, you can, again, you can add HDRI files. You can also adjust the HDRI and add your own parametric lights. So I can turn the HDR file down, but I can also add lights if I want to increase the lighting or highlight the lighting on one of the aspects of the garment. So right now I'm going to go ahead and add a few different types of lights. We have lighting for, uh, we have, um, I'm sorry, all the types of parametric lights, which is area lights, directional lights spotlights and uh, point lights. So all of these different uh, lights are editable in the in the right hand side, as you can see, I am editing the intensity, I'm editing all of uh, the fall off, which is the softness of the light. Also, I can change the color of the light if I want to give something a more romantic look or something that's a little bit back backlit with maybe a brand color or something that's going to offset the fabric, I can actually go ahead and uh, move the lights around and, you know, just to create whatever type of lighting that I, that I want to for, for my garment. But you can also turn off your HDR light totally and completely if you want a dramatic, a more dramatic look. But these lights act as just enhancements to all of the material changes and all of the new things that you have going on in the 2023.2 version. The 2023.2 version is going to be out uh, in the next couple of weeks. You'll see a link to the webinar in uh, the chat right here. And I wanted to show you this last thing is the speed of render with Unreal Engine is super fast and super accurate. So this video is only 1.5 uh, sped up to 1.5. So if you're going to see how fast it goes, I was actually surprised the first time I used it and that's how fast it goes. So no longer are you able to go and have a snack before your render is finished, but you can actually stay and get your work done in no time with all of these new changes to the 2023.2 version. So thank you very much. And we're going to open it up to any questions that you guys have. And these are just some of the renders and that's my time, guys. So, Joshua, I hope you like that presentation because there are a lot of new things there. <laughs> There's a lot of great new stuff. Um, yeah, and that's just like the two points that I, you know, were a was able to talk about at this point. So, yeah, it's fabulous. I, I, I think everyone um, is really enjoying the um, uh, the Unreal um, viewer. Uh, yes. Um, Yes, to have, uh, especially if you have the right hardware to get just beautiful ray traced images. Yeah, and things. I think now like with something like that, where you're able to maximize the use of your GPU, not to get like too technical, but if people are now having these powerful graphics cards and they wanted to see things and, you know, the fabric as it actually looks, this is definitely taking you there. This is definitely taking you there. Yeah, 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 and um, I I, I might have missed it, but uh, did you did you mention the um, the soft body simulation in uh, the new the version? The soft body, um, the soft body avatar has been released, and you're gonna find um, in the new version there's an actual uh, download mm -hmm. that you can test. So you have uh, your own soft body avatar and try it out and see you know how it works for your active wear or your bras and all of that stuff. So it's really, it's accessible in the new version and um, there's gonna be a webinar about it planned shortly, so. Oh, fantastic, well, yeah. great. Well, um, I don't think that we have any questions um, no. from um, the, the, I'm just- Oh, uh, let me see if I can get the link, hold on one second, for the webinar, hold on. Okay. I think there was also a question from someone who was looking for what's the best uh, place to go if they're looking for um, 
browse browse word technical support and activation questions. Uh, technical support in what sense? Uh, I guess okay. that's that's a good question. I think I think yeah. There you go. Uh, hold on. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Hi, Fashion Chick. So Dita from the Browseware team actually answered this question right uh -huh. afterwards. So there is your there is your answer for how to contact Browseware for technical support. Okay, I am a little lost right now. So hold on a second. There's StreamYard. All right. So I'm also going to uh, paste into the chat because we're not able to uh, paste the webinar address. And I'll put it there. Dita, thank you so much for, for answering that question. And um, if there are any other questions, um, I'm here if you need me. All right. Well, great. Yeah. Oh, well, anything else, um, anything else coming up? Um, you know that you can give us a sneak peek on that's coming up from because uh, I know that you you've added uh, animation which is which is really mm -hmm. great any new any new animations available in the 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 current version or the next version of of uh, Vstitcher not new but I will tell you that with the Unreal Engine uh, five addition to the software mm -hmm. the animations flow very quickly mm -hmm. uh, everything is happening in in almost near real time when you're using uh, the the new the new software. I will also tell you that uh, we do have a new kids avatar mm -hmm. and uh, the kids avatar is also uh, from infant to like 14 years old. So we have that space in between and it's parametric. So you can uh, kind of see his name is Charlie. So I like to I like to see him grow up and just size up, you know, so that's something that's really, uh, really new for for the software, mm -hmm. new avatars. Um, I don't want to give everything away. The webinar, <laughs> the no, webinar no. link is there, but I could go on for days talking about that. So, um, so yeah, if you have any technical questions, I know having something, a tool like this being real time is, uh, to me as a technical designer for, uh, 20 something years, it's easier to just work into one tool. And that's what we're driving, you know, driving to the market right now, being able to do everything without having to go back to substance or having to go back to, you know, image editor, like everything is really super fast and flows for you to get your work done really quickly. So. Well, I know in the, in the, um, you know, we had a previous discussion with a lot of the technical designers. I know that yeah. there's a lot of technical designers watching. Um, and then uh, even with the gap presentation, one of the things that they talked about was um, what they call 40 fit. Um, something I think I might call fit in motion. Yeah. Um, and I think that this new Unreal um, plugin makes it a lot easier for, like, for if a technical designer is checking, you know, what hands up or hands forward, um, and what the stretch um, capabilities of their pro product are um, in those different positions, even moving from one position to another. Um, yeah. This is a great way to visualize, which would have taken a very long time. A past. very long time to re-simulate <laughs> and visualize. So now we have it where you can actually have. Um, and this is thanks to the 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 new back end uh, you know functionality mm -hmm. of Unreal, where you can have multiple windows without having to sacrifice, um, you know, bandwidth or RAM as they call it, VRAM. Mm -hmm. So you have all of your looks, all of your fits, all of your sizing. You can look at them, turn them around, and do all of that without mm -hmm. having to wait or without having to re-simulate and reopen and do all that stuff. So. so so are you, are you saying that, so in the past, the one thing that was really difficult to do, well, not difficult, but it was mm -hmm. it was difficult to set up, I guess I would say, um, would be that size range validation. In the physical world, that could take months to get all of yes. the fit models and all of the, the samples. But um, so you're saying that, that digitally now in vSitcher to put that on the screen is, is at the same time that that's a fairly straightforward Operation. Yeah, it's fairly straightforward and uh, you can set up all of your sizes and open up all of your sizes into the different windows. And the real time visualization of everything is the same across all of the windows. And it's more like when I keep saying realism, I'm saying that you're actually able to see without having to render it out or put it in another software in order to, to figure out if that's what it's supposed to be. It's actually there and you can do your work. That's really exciting. Well, it's good to hear of all of, of, all of the how, how technology keeps on marching forward. And, and again, very nice to meet you, Darrell. Uh, nice to so meet you too, Joshua. And thank you to the team for having us. It was great. Great to talk about the new stuff. Fantastic. All right. Take care.